Chariots of Fire. Oh, oh, man. Well, I promised some folks that I'd play Chariots of Fire tonight, but tonight's a very special night, right, Cheryl? Yes, it is. Very special. You know, uh, some people have had such an impact on our lives, and as Dr. Bill Graham has, as you know, several weeks ago, I paid, paid a tribute to him and the music and the wonderful hymns that were sung at the, uh, at the Crusades. And then today, we lost another giant, an amazing lady, amazing lady. I think she was the foundation of the Bush family. Barbara Bush, and when you think of Barbara Bush, you think of strength and solid and, and, and just quality kind of woman. I mean, she was such a great wife and a mother and a, a grandmother, all of that. So I just thought it'd be appropriate. And by the way, she loved hymns. She loved hymns. And I know what her special hymn was. I'm gonna play it for you in just a moment. But there's something I want to read to you. I have a wonderful friend, Karen Simpson. She watches all the time, and she's one of the executives at the uh, 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 Mercy, Mercy, Mercy Hospital. Hospital and in Lebanon, Missouri, and a great friend. And she was kind enough to send me some information about Barbara Bush. And the one thing that I love the most was a quote that she that she wrote, and I'm, I'm gonna read it to you because it comes right from her. Let me find it on my, on my uh, iPhone right here. It's so wonderful. By the way, thank you for joining us. Uh, those that have ever been to our Facebook Live, welcome. People, we're about to start something wonderful in your life because we get together every Tuesday evening and we right. have fun, music and word and what have you. Watch Cheryl. People from Kentucky, Ohio, Oklahoma, oh Texas, goodness. already, um, Independence, Missouri, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, just so many other areas, and we also get people from other countries. I know, I know, Japan. Yes, we and, had last uh, week. In fact, I think Hawaii. Yeah, even. well, that's I mean, not another country, country but, <laughs> but it sure seems like a beautiful, beautiful country. One. <laughs> okay, let's let's talk about the, uh, Barbara Bush. Uh, just an amazing woman, she really was. 93 years old. That was a great long life since yes, she had. Yes, it was. She? But, yes. You know, we don't know the half of what she's been through and the, and the sorrow mm -hmm. and the and the joys and all the ups and downs that that family has gone through. But they've had a great impact on the nation. That's for yes. sure. They really have. Two presidents. Okay, I'm going to read this. It's lovely. This is written by Barbara Bush. At the end of your life, you will never regret not having passed one more test, not winning one more verdict, or not closing one more deal. But here it is. You will regret time not spent with a husband, a child, a friend, or a parent. Isn't that true? That's so awesome. How life goes so quickly. It is quick. But the time you spend with your family, that's why Cheryl and I, we everywhere we go, we go together. We love we have it. my family together, you know, and, and of course we, have our daughters and our granddaughters, and I'm sure you do. You will never regret the time not spent, that's for sure, with a husband, a child, a friend, or a parent. Mm -hmm. Great quote. That's awesome. And she loved hymns. She sure How appropriate did. is this? Wow. And you know, we've been we've been talking about hymns. As a matter of fact, I'm getting a call from <laughs> my my designer who's designing our hymnal. <laughs> right? Yeah. Appropriate. Anyway, I'll call him later. Let me put this on. Mute. Yeah, I think I that'd think be that's smart, wouldn't it? Great idea. Barbara Bush had her favorite hymn. Yes, she did. And her favorite hymn was this. I'm gonna read I'm gonna read the text or the the uh, the first verse, that's the great. lyrics of this hymn, and I'm gonna play it. The title of the hymn, do you know what it is? For the beauty of the earth. Mm -hmm. That's one you haven't heard in a long time, I'm sure. This was her favorite hymn. So great. And it what is this is what it says. For the beauty of the earth. For the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Christ our God, to thee we rise. This our hymn of grateful praise. This our hymn of grateful praise. And I've been telling you that the hymns that we are playing and, and uh, 
putting in our hymnal are going to be hymns that are going to bring a lot of praise and honor to God. So let me put my glasses on, because I haven't played this in years. I have played this, but when I was a child back in New York City. But the hymn goes like this. the day and of the night, hill and vale, and tree and flower, mm -hmm. sun and moon, and stars of light. Christ our God, to thee we raise, rise, raise, I should say, this our hymn of grateful praise. So again. like every time we get together I play how great I just add it to everything I play it's so amazing Amen. it really really is well that was just a nice memory for Mrs. Bush I don't know if she suffered at the end I hope she didn't 
I hope that she just passed on in her sleep and just went into the very presence of the Almighty God. And Amen. I know that she's there. There's no doubt about it. And someday, someday, we'll be in heaven with all those that have gone before us. Amen. Whether it's your husband or wife or child. And, and uh, it saddens me when I hear about, about a child passing away. But you know, there's some things we just cannot, cannot question. Jesus probably just wanted that baby to be in heaven with him and someday you'll see that child also you know Dino Rhonda Barrett just wrote she said uh, greetings to us do you remember me saying last week or the week before that I wanted to get a CD to take to the nursing home well I missed your program last week because my mother passed away oh. Tuesday April 10th we had a joyous home going you know see? for Christians that's the way it should be we are just so excited because our relative has passed into the arms of Jesus. How wonderful it is. Jesus. It will be worth it all. joyous right. home right. going well for those who have lost loved ones uh, I just dedicated to those two those folks Amen. but uh, what got us on to this was mrs. Bush having passed away yes. and you know there's so much you know there's not one negative thing about her I mean on the news and that that's that's unusual <laughs> my lord everybody loved mrs. Bush they, you know I, I heard today uh, someone was talking about her and she had the gift of kind of reading into people. She knew if you were real or not. I mean, you could, you, I mean, we know having heard her speak and, you know, when she would talk and so on, it's just it's black and white. There's no in between, right? That's right. And I like that. I know. And uh, she loved people. She loved her husband. I was really, honestly, I was really kind of surprised. I thought uh, President Bush would have gone before. He's, I think he's older than she is. But uh, again, you know, we'll be there together. The Lord and your time knows. is no more. Time is like no more. I mean, it's like time so quickly. It's like when I right. started this uh, Tuesday night, I'm sitting here again, and it was like yesterday we did the last one. I know. When I played the 15 top hymns, most favorite hymns. What a wonderful thing that was. And we got a lot of response on that. We did. Oh, yes. Lord, it was fantastic. And all that tells me is that you guys love the hymns. How many of you have been saying, Dino, please keep playing those. We, gotta, we want our children. Well, I will. Would, would you want, you know, my father owned a, a, a restaurant, a little luncheonette. It was called New York City on 69th Street. I used to work there, there for my dad, too. I guess that's why I like to bake cakes, and, and uh, we have a cafe in Branson. But uh, dad would always say, customers are always right, no matter what. <laughs> Amen. So whatever you want, <laughs> if you're right, I'll play it, uh, I'll, I'll say it, whatever. And some of you have been sending your thoughts about the hymns, and how important it is that we keep them and, and uh, let our young people hear them. And so generation to generation from this point on Amen. will have them. So that's our, that is our mission. Amen. And uh, you, have, you have been making suggestions for the past five weeks as to what should be in the hymnal. Now, this is not the hymnal that I'm going to send you. No. But it's kind of like what it's going to be, okay? I like this color even. I do I like too. the red. So that I don't know. Crimson flow. So guys, tell me what color it should be. We'll, we'll, everything, every decision I make, I'm going to ask you about because we're doing this together. This is about my Facebook family, and you're actually 
uh, helping me put this all together, and you've been a great help already. So you have been suggesting songs. We've already have so Cheryl and I have prayed about it. We went over the list. There are hundreds of hymns. Yes. How how difficult it is to find a hundred or hundred and one hymns to put in the hymnal. Well, I think we did it. I think we've got the list. And not saying that we can't revamp it once in a while, but I thought I would play maybe five or six or seven of the hymns that we've decided are going to be in the in the hymnal. Now you tell me if you suggested that. If that, if that was your idea, I want to know, okay? And uh, let's see. I have the list right here. Cheryl, who's on there? Can you tell me? Anybody else on there? Well, let's Anybody see. watching tonight? Uh, actually, uh, our friend John. Oh, John Wilson. John Love Wilson. Him. He said he wants firecrackers at his funeral. Firecrackers. Because he's going to be so oh, excited. You, he's going to have joy. like 4th of July at his funeral. That's right. That's right. We were with him just recently. He came to Branson. He flew some people. He's a pilot. Yes. And has a plane that uh, flies people. He, he's flown us everywhere, too. Uh, by and now, all, all of you should know who John Willison is. Yes. And Helena sure. Moritis. She's our cousin. Oh, and she's Helena. On. We love Hi, you. Hi, Helena. Um, Hi, sweetheart. She's great. Yes, she's she terrific. is. I'm looking for the list that I'm going to tell you what the first maybe 10 songs are going to be that we've selected. Now, bear with me because, you know, I'm a senior citizen and it takes me a little while. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm not You're like you young people fast. up there. <laughs> so i got to find the list. Oh. It's in my notes. Let me find my notes. Okay. Notes, where are you? Okay. Um, hey, we've had a great week this week. And uh, Cheryl is feeling better. Thank you, oh, Lord. thank you, Jesus. You've been asking about you, Cheryl. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. And you're doing well. Yes, I am. Uh, I've got, I got an announcement to make a little bit later on. No, Cheryl is not pregnant. No, I am so not. So don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> that we, would that'd be a miracle. Wouldn't that it? would be a... a mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, the Rock... Uh, people from Rockwood, Tennessee. Yes. Some from... Um, Waddle Camp pronounced that one, and I thought I knew everywhere in Alabama, but Bug Tussle, Alabama. Where is that? <laughs> I'm not sure. And then there were people from Arizona, from Chicago, lots of you tuning in. So great. Thank you. I am looking for these. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Are you ready? Yes. Let's start with number one. I'm going to give you the first uh five or six hymns that we've selected for the hymnal, that we have selected together for the hymnal. Uh -huh. And you guys have been ordering the CD. I mean, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Look at this bag right here. These are all the folks that have ordered CDs, actually yes, requested so for CDs. You, you're not purchasing them, you're requesting them. All these people so far, I wonder if you're in this list and you're sending your request to our address, it's on my, it's on our Facebook. You'll see it everywhere because I've mentioned it. And people that have given us, isn't it wonderful, Cheryl? I, yes. I, I never take this for granted. That have given us financial blessing and saying, Dino, you know, here, here's $10 and $5 and $25 and you know, $100. Something, someone says $100 today. They did. Saying, Dino, keep playing those hymns out so behind you in your ministry. And, and here, it's one of a third dollar. It, it's just a, and wonderful notes inside. Yes, with and we're chips. so grateful for Some the love. Some have not sent anything, but that's okay. Listen, it's not about the money. It's about God speaking to you in your heart to say, I want to bless Dean and Cheryl's ministry, and especially yes, bringing yeah. back the hymns. This is an investment in the kingdom right here. Yes, so it all is. All these people have written, and, and thank you so much. You know, thank Dino, you. we've had so much ministry come out of that little cafe that, uh, that true? people have walked into, and, and there we were sitting there or showed up to because God sent us really yes. and we would pray and we would find answers to questions. Isn't it great though that we could do that with folks? Absolutely with wonderful. Folks. So this yes. is a CD that people have been asking for. Now, it's treasured songs and hymns of worship. Huh? You play this in your house and it's got choirs on it, it's got vocal, I'm playing and I'm speaking a little bit, bringing the people in to worship and this is something every one of you need to have. I already was asked, how do I get them? Oh, listen, if I could just send these to every one of you. There are 500,000 people that watch us at, sometimes at one time. <laughs> I would love to send them out to each of you if I could. But you have to request, okay? 
and uh, where do they do it. that? All they got to do is our P.O. box, uh, set at the Dino Carts and Alcus, uh, P.O. Box 6060, Branson, Missouri 65616. Now, I'm going to say this go on my Facebook, as you are, and you'll see it somewhere along there where I, I give the address and I say for a love gift, we'll send you it. Someone asked for two or, two or three, and I did. Someone asked for 15. 15. I, I know. Now look <laughs> that up, was look, amazing. And I've got something new I'm going to show. But, but let me, let's do one or two of these hymns, okay? Okay, I'm coming. Then this is the hymns that have been selected for the hymn book so far. Every week I'm going to give you a little out of time. By the time we we're through, you're going to have all of them, 101. But of course. What do you think number one is? What is it, you know? <laughs> Second note. Third note, fourth note. Jesus. Amen. Even when you say the name, it, it, it creates an atmosphere in the room of yes. strength, power in Hallelujah. the name of Jesus. What is power, Cheryl? Oh, the name of Jesus brings all the power you need to for salvation, salvation to, for healing, to make it through the day. Through to, absolutely. Oh, to oh, give you power. answers to your problems and your oh, situations. Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your power. To share with others. Power in the name of the Lord. Yes. Power in the name of the Lord. Oh, thank I think there's a Lord song Jesus. that says power in the name of the Lord. I should play that sometime. Sandy you Patty should. sang it. Yes. There's power in the name of the Lord. Amen. Okay, you ready for the second one? I am. Of course, the all-time favorite, and I love playing it every time.
We've got to include that in the hymnal. Amen. Amazing grace, how That's sweet wonderful. the sound. That you is know, an anthem for sure. Melissa Brower just sent a note and she said, we lost our little baby, Stephen J, in January. See. He was full term but still born. Oh, we are looking forward to meeting him again oh, in heaven. God. You know, those who go, go on before us are preparing for us to come. We just want to stay honorable and obedient to the Lord, and we'll see him. Glory to his name. That's going to be in the hymnal. right now i'll come back that's a, what i did a, i did oh hail the power of jesus name amazing grace glory to his name okay three so far they're gonna be in the, in the hymn book and can i play this i may even include this i'm not sure but <laughs> Billy Graham, Cliff Barrows, and Bev Beverly Shea sang together. It's the cutest thing. It's on, it's on my Facebook. You've got oh, it. You've got to watch it. And oh. uh, they sang. Bev and uh, Cliff said, "Hiding the bushel." No. And Billy goes, "Where?" <laughs> like that. <laughs> Where? Wonderful. I would probably have a section in the hymnal of, of Children's Sunday School. I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. It's going to be more than one volume. I can tell already. <laughs> People are saying, Dino, just keep them coming out, and I will. I will for Amen. sure. So, the love of God. Jesus loves me. This I know. And the love of Jesus. And we have a scripture we're going to share with you, right, Cheryl? We selected some some uh, scriptures. I do this yes, every time do. now. I really feel this power in the scriptures and the Word of God. And you have it right here, don't you? I sure do. Okay, if you don't move it, I can see it and they can too. Oh, are you going to read it? In, okay. this, in this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten son into the world, that we might, be, we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. So all of you tonight that are with us here, be sure to love your family. Yes. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's what the Lord says. Amen. That's good scripture, Cheryl. Thank you. The love of God. Of course, because I love the song, The Love of God. How oh, rich. Yes, how, how wonderful. <laughs>
tell me someone out there needs to hear, hear about the love of God. Amen. Sometimes you feel you're not loved, you know, and sometimes you feel just, just so alone and I have no one that just loves me or perhaps when you were raised as a child, you didn't have a parent that, that, that that's hard to imagine. I can't imagine, a parent. like we have two daughters, mm. Christina and Cherie, and not to love them and just treat them, you know, badly, mm. that's unimaginable. That's right. Really. Totally. But you know, there's some people that have had that in their past. Yes, there are. And they need to know right now there are many. that Jesus loves them. It is such a pure love. Yes, it is. sister or brother mm. has something against you and perhaps may even take you to the to the law I mean it's you know mm. you we all watch uh, we do we we love judge Judy is that Judge Judy that we're <laughs> yeah, talking about judge Judy do you like judge Judy she's so I mean funny. she tells it just the way it is and you hear these cases of of, of the husband and the uh, well Brother, uh, brother sister, and sisters, husband, wife, mother, father, suing each other. Against. I mean, right, right. Yeah, I guess it's amazing. Child. It really is. You know, Dino, the song you just played was "The Love of God," and I can remember my father. He would put his head back and he would just sing that God. song, "The Love of God," and I'm telling you, he reflected God's love in he our did, household yes. continually. I know he did. He would praise God and walk around and. And just show love to everybody in every way. And that included us kids. Okay, I've got another one, Cheryl. Yeah, okay. Hey, guys. Yes. Are you out there? They're you, here. See, wait a minute. Roll call. Roll call. <laughs> I got roll call. Every time you send your name in or something. I, I, Nancy Templin, are you there? Kirby. P-U-G-H. How do you pronounce that, Cheryl? Pew. Kirby Pew. 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 Hey. Mary Francis, are you there? Michael Bergen, Nicholas Costello, that's a nice Italian name, right? Uh huh. Or mafia name. <laughs> no, oh, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Holly Alexander, Alexander, these are all the people, and much, many, many more that have been watching us week yes. after week. Is that something, for yes. Cheryl? Yes. Yes. You know, I was telling Cheryl the other day, what was it? Oh, you were in the conversation. Where else can I sit down on the piano and play for thousands of people at one time? Absolutely. It's just fantastic. It really, it really is. Even our neighbors. Our neighbors, too? Al Pulis just joined. Oh, hey, Al. <laughs> Al is a great, he's a pastor of a church and yes. a wonderful musician himself. Actually, he knows how to tune pianos. He's doing oh, the pianos for the show. Awesome. He really has, yeah. Yeah. Well, I got two more of the songs I'm going to play for you. The next one I think you're going to really love that we, select, we selected to be in the hymn book. Yes. And remember, those are just now tuning in. We together, our Facebook friends and family, are putting a hymnal together for your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren to have. So when we pass on to glory, oh. they will have that treasure, and it's going to be a limited edition, just my Facebook family, okay? Limited meaning hardback, it's going to have a hardback to it, mm -hmm. and I may just say something in there, uh, and please pray with me, I'm trying to get Ann Graham to write the forward. I, I, I contacted her this past week. Wouldn't that be perfect, Cheryl? It would be yeah, absolutely Anne Graham, the wonderful. We love Anne. You know, she... We spend time with her. She's, yes. she's terrific. She really she's is. She's been here to see us. And, she has. It. And we what a ministry, loved right? her. Yes. Oh, she is, she is definitely her, her father's yeah. daughter. She, she is. She is for sure. Oh, you know what she told us? spirit. She told us that when her dad was laying in bed, she would come up to him in his ear and just read the word. Read yes. the Word of God. That's all he wanted to hear was the Word of God. And that is just listen and just totally lay there. appropriate, yes. Isn't that something? It's wonderful. Yeah. 
Hey, I want to mention something to you. Now, this is something else that I have never presented to you, if you like. Now, you don't have to get this. You don't have to request it if you don't want. But a lot of you have been saying, Dina, what about a DVD of all those hymns? Did you do a DVD of this CD? The answer is yes. Got it. <laughs> Here's a DVD. Yes. You actually watch me playing with the choirs around me. All the music that's on the CD, those hymns that we've been singing, To God Be the Glory, Jesus Saves, Jesus Saves, you know. I mean, so many are on here. And now you can watch me actually playing it in a church. It was a Baptist church. What is about you Baptists? <laughs> I don't know. They love us, Cheryl. They're very loving. We love them. And I'm sure we got all denominations out there. Yes. And there's a lot, you know, it's not about denomination. No. It's those who accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. That's the deal right there. We get to heaven. They ain't going to be just Baptists. No. Or just Pentecostals. No. You know, no. Only those that accepted Christ. Well, here's the DVD. I got the DVD for you. Uh, and if you want this, you can request it. And just slip in a love gift, whatever God lays in your heart. And now I, we can get the DVD and I can send it to you. So, and if you want both, just say, Dino, please send me a CD and a DVD. And I will... For sure, get it out to you as soon as possible. Treasured songs. Treasured Hams songs, inspiration. And it's live. It's live, yeah. And the photograph in the back, you see me playing with the choir. I don't know if you can see it there. And then Cheryl and the Hearts are with us. Yes. Kirsten and David Hart. Yes. They were like the front. The, Wonderful the, singers. How do we call them? The front part, you know, they, yes. <laughs> and the choir's behind them. So they are if you great. want a CD, please request it for sure. So are you ready for the next one? This is it right here. And this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna put my little touch to it. God leads his dear children along. Where is it I, in the I book? should know it, my Lord. Mm -hmm. Guys, sing it loud enough so I can hear you. It's Chad, you pastors. I can't remember God the leads. words this moment. Do you guys know the numbers in the Baptist hymnal? God leads his dear children along. Along. God he leads. Come on. Some through the water. Some through no, that's not it, is it? Some. Uh, go it's on. shady be pastor. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, good.
world too. It really, really yes, is. Yes, it's all so You know, great. God has, I just want to take a moment to say this. God has been so good to us. You know, it's unfortunate that we walk away from him. You know, and I, I'm preaching to myself too. We think we could do it on our own, but but you, if you've had the Lord in your life, you know what the results are. It's it's good. It's it's right. Mm -hmm. It's honorable. And sometimes we just forget to ask Him to just lead us along. Long, you know, just so He walked with us and talked with us and 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 just lets us know what His perfect will is in our lives. There are some people right now that are listening and watching. I've got a message for you. You need to surrender everything to Jesus. 100%. 100%. Let him rule your life. Amen. You'll never go wrong. You really won't. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you're going through a situation right now with attorneys or, or something that, that legally you've got to go through. You know, sometimes we need to just seek God for his will and perhaps not go that route. You know, I like this, let go and let God, and that's the truth, it's so simple, but it's profound. We need to let go and let God yes. control our lives. Amen. And you guys can testify to that. I know you, there's so many out there that talk to us and say, Dino, God has been so good to my life. And then thank you for playing these hymns, and you guys have been really enjoying it for sure. So we praise God, that's all I can say. What, Cheryl? Just saying. Am I not looking into the camera? Am I, I looking into it? I'm not sure. Can you guys see me now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the camera, Cheryl, right? That's the camera. Oh, I want to eye contact. I've got to, I've got to have eye contact with folks for sure. For, for sure. sure. Well, would you like to hear another one? Since we're here, why not? Why not? Getting a lot of response, I, it looks like to me. Look at here. Mm -hmm. Brenda Davis, and it just goes on and on. Okay, next one. One more. This one I love so much. And I'm going to play my arrangement of it, okay? I like to bring the classical in mm -hmm. with, the, with the hymns. to record such a, all every hymn that's in the, in the, in the, the hymnal. Like, if there's a hundred, I'll sit at the piano and play it just like that. 
where you could sing along and some perhaps you may not know the, the, the hymn and you'll get to hear it as I play it. Do you like that idea? I'd like to know. T tell me if you do, okay? So, because that's a possibility. It'll take a lot of work. It'll take a lot of hours, but it'll be worth it. What a, what a heritage, Cheryl, to leave behind, right? Oh, that'd be wonderful. To have Dino. all, you know, my ra Dino arrangements. On, it'll take about four to six CDs. We're talking about 101 hymns. Yes. It'll take a lot of time and a lot of work to arrange them and so on. But would you like that? If you would like that, I'm going to highly consider it. I'll talk to my publishing company and see if they, they would want to do that too. But I want to hear from you. You need to tell me if you'd like me to play the hymns that, that'll go with, with the hymnal. Perhaps we could put a couple of CDs here in the front and in the back. I have like a little, you know, like a little sleeve there. I've got news for you. What? Your publishing company is washing right now. Who's that? The Jerry Nordskog? Nordskog. And Gail? Yes. Oh, those precious people. So you can just Listen, let me tell you about them. They, they've got a vision. And mm -hmm. not only are we friends, but we've talked about how we could leave something behind that'll make a difference for our children, grandchildren. Yes. And we all decide one accord, Gail and Jerry, Cheryl, and myself. And you know, even Christina, our daughter's involved. Yes, she is. You know, she co much. Our daughter, I'm really proud of her. She, she co-produced... Uh, Flipper Flop show in Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. Isn't that cool? Isn't that? She's a great Christian girl, and we love her so much. With Cherise, our other daughter. Yes. But anyway, Christina also is a part of this project, and uh, she's been a producer. She's and a maybe I, we can get her. Jerry you, uh, and Gail, we need to talk to Christina to see if she'll maybe produce the CDs. That would be a great idea. Oh, that would be wonderful, Dean. But I want to hear from my Facebook people. If they'd like it, uh, we, we may do it. Okay? Absolutely. So guys, tell me if you'd like CDs with this, the, the music of the hymns, the go along. That'll make this different than any, any other hymn book. Now, here's a question, you know. Cheryl? To whom do I make the check? For? For buying the... The hymnal? Hymnal, the DVD, okay, let me clarify the CD, this. all Can I clarify those? this? For the CD so. and the DVD, yes, you could send a nice love gift. Yes. And whatever it is, we don't care. We're going to send it to you for the DVD and the CD. Just let the Lord lead you on that, okay? We'd really, listen, we would really appreciate it. I can't tell you how much we, I can't go into detail, but let the Lord speak to you for sure. The hymnal, you do not send any money. All you send is your email address. That's all we need. Send me your email address. I can actually send it to my email address. Okay. This way, not every, every Tom, Dick, and Harry is going to see it, or Mary Jane, or Cynthia, whatever. But anyway, uh, you said a Dino, Dino K dot DCK at gmail dot com. Dino K, Dino, your last name is Cartsonox, just the letter K, dot D, Dino, C, Cheryl, K Cartsonox at gmail dot com. DCK. DCK. And send me your email address. I had a lady just the other day send me your email address. She says, please send me 10. Uh, had someone else say 15 of these hymns, they're going to give them to their church and have a hymn sing. Isn't that Isn't wonderful? Isn't that a great idea? Yes. Uh, Martha just asked, how long does it take for the CD to come to her house? Uh, uh, please allow about a week, please, because uh, what do you, what, what's your... She ordered hers two weeks ago. And did not get it yet? And hasn't received That's it yet. That's not good. No. What's, okay, I will check it immediately after we get off here. Okay. That's not right. Miss Martha will be Oh, that's not forward. good. Everybody else is beginning their CDs yes. and loving them. You have to get them, Martha, for sure. Absolutely. Okay, again, guys, for the hymnal, just send us your email address. And the publishing company, the Nordskog Publishing Company, will will send you the information as how to acquire the hymn book. And I'm sure there'll be a special price for a bulk of them, you know, like if you want to order 25 to 50 or so on, you know. For your choir or anything. I'm not anything, stepping yeah. out of place here. Or for family. your choir. Yeah. And, it, and tell me again, I want to know, would you like a CD? CDs, it'll be take set, uh, quite a few, maybe four or five CDs to do a hundred. That's going to take quite a few hours for me to sit at the piano and arrange the music and actually record it. Sure is. So uh, you'll do it. Won't is anybody you? saying anything yet? Yes. Do they like the idea? Oh yes, they do. Really? And, and uh, it seems to me that uh, people are happy with all of this. How about? Uh, let's see. Let me get the right key. This just came to mind. Uh, no. Come on, 
sing it. song of That's joy and awesome. people. I can't believe we did an hour, Shirley, yet. Where's the time go? I don't know, it's but amazing. it goes quickly, it's it seems. It's amazing, amazing. Okay, the next week, I'll play you more of the hymns that are going to be in the hymnal, as so you know exactly the songs you selected. Remember, this is your hymnal. That's right. It's for you, for sure. And if you want the DVD and CD, I already told you, I don't say it again. Some lady wrote in and said, Tina, I wish you'd stop pitching your, your music. And da da da, she went on and on, and it's really, it's really interesting. You got to be careful, very careful, even if you're negative on the Facebook, because you're going to get a bunch of people coming after you. Upset at and you. And they just told her off and just went on. And I said, "Oh, you have to. You're smart enough to understand that there's cost to the CDs and so on like this. But we're not asking a specific amount, so we're just asking for a donation. But uh, that's okay. Express your feelings. We, we're secure. We can handle it." You know, That's but right. we do what God says that we should do. And we, we have, Cheryl and I have really committed wholeheartedly to the ministry of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the bottom line, folks, yes, is that people receive Jesus Christ as a personal Savior. And I believe through a hymnal like this, people can receive Christ. Because the doctrinal substance of these books is right on. And, and you can hear... And, and understand what it means to love and the power of God and, yes, and um, how you can have peace in the midst of your storm and hope in your life and I mean we need to do maybe a, a devotional we'll talk about that we'll pray about that show with Gerald yes, you'd be sir. great doing that love for do each it. song that'd be great but I want to hear wonderful. your response on whether we should do the CDs or not the music that goes along with it would you please I'd love it I really let would. us hear from you so all you guys that uh, we hear from and uh, we see every every week, we adore you. We really do. We, we think you're wonderful. Even though we don't see you personally, we can sense, sense your present presence and know that it's the love of Jesus Christ. Yes. When I play, when I sit at this piano, I really ask the Lord to play through me. And even when you listen to my CDs, that you'll sense the presence of God. Father, I thank you for this opportunity yes, that we Jesus. have. There's thousands of so people great. that are watching. And, and I don't know why, I just feel my spirit, the people that need comfort and love and peace in their lives. Give them, we can take a deep breath and just breathe in the very presence of the Holy Spirit into our lives. Father, you are peace, you are love, you are hope. You give us the strength to carry on. I pray for healing, whatever is, is happening with this person, whether they cannot walk or get up in their chair. Give them that strength to get up by faith and receive their healing in the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord, with all our hearts. Yes. And we ask you to forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes. And we'll give you all the praise and all the honor. In your name we pray. Amen. As I was praying this, this, this prayer, I heard my, our little dog snoring in the background. <laughs> Some of you folks say, Who's, we can hear your little puppy snore. And really, that's, she does that. Well, that's the little dog we rescued right off the we, street we sure did, after yeah. seeing her run over by a car. Yeah, so let's see if we can hear her. Here. There it is. <laughs> We're so used to it now. Anyway. Now we are. Yes. And those who have uh, puppies and animals, I know you love them too as much as we love them. Do you think they're going to be in heaven? We're going to have our, our puppies in heaven someday. Why not? The Lord loves, he's created all this, you know. Well, they were in the Garden of Eden and they That's spoke. Right. They were speaking spirits. They did. I wish I would speak. So well, sometimes maybe, they do. We maybe in heaven, them, right? which will be so beautiful. Okay, folks, we'll see you unless Jesus comes. And wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, yes. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, the rapture in a twinkling of an eye, it could happen oh, anytime. Such a just so you're ready. Just so you have Christ in your heart. Okay? Yes. So with the music in our hearts, and once again, I want to dedicate this to Bob, Barbara Bush and her memories of being such an amazing lady. We know she passed away just today, as a matter of fact, and I want to play this for her.
see you later.